decades. The beautiful actress is probably best known for her portrayal of Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, a woman doctor roughing it on the American frontier. Well, Jane's at it again, playing another woman ahead of her time in her new Showtime original movie, Enslavement, the true story of Fanny Kimball. I can find you to the house. I forbid you to go to the slave camp anymore. And this, this renovation of the infirmary will stop. But why? A healthy slave is a working slave. Get maximum efficiency from your property. Don't mock me, Fanny. Three slaves have died in that hellish pit since we arrived. To give the sick minimum care doesn't seem too much to ask for. Why didn't you consult me first? You are my wife. Behave like one, or I'll pack you off in the next steamer home, alone. That Fanny's a tough woman. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to welcome back the lovely Jane Seymour. Stunning. Thank your sweater you. set. And I heard that you even made it yourself. Yes, I did. Well, I took a, a BCBG, you know, a little sweater set, and then I got some uh, turquoise from the bead store and I beaded it myself. I just thought it was fun. I, I kind of wanted to liven it up a bit. I used to make all my own clothes when I was first started out. I was a ballerina and I couldn't afford ballet shoes. So I, and I was always sort of knitting and crocheting anyway for, mm -hmm. for ballet. Mm -hmm. And then I went and sold them and I started my own little company and did that. But, but you know, I don't do anything professional. I just do this for myself. Let's see, actress, she makes her own clothing, <laughs> has six children. Do we Paint. hear her, ladies? Paint. Is it time for her to go right about now? <laughs> No, I was just trying to tell the guys, the guys that there say they can't even sew on a button. I mean, I know how to make clothes. I mean, I, I grew up doing that. I cook, Great, I clean, and I make you. clothes. I'll be calling you. I yeah. think that's beautiful. That's fun. Thanks. And let, let's talk about some more about you. Your oh, hair okay. is stunning. You look fabulous after having right. given birth to four children, correct? That's of your right. Six. How do you do it all? Well, when you have uh, four-year-old twins, anyone out here who has twins will know this, you need extra energy just to keep up with them and run after them. And I think that just having them, you know, it, it's just made me even younger. And then, of course, you can see in that picture, the redhead on the left, Katie, she's at Columbia University. So I have to keep my brain alert because she keeps calling me up for help with her homework, which, of course, I can't do. <laughs> and the one on the right, uh, Sean, he plays golf. So now I've become a golfer so I can have some quality time with my 14-year-old. So I just, uh, you know... You I really manage. enjoy, I love my kids, I love my work, and I find a way to somehow do it all together. And you talk to your kids every day, I find that fascinating, no Several matter where times. you are, really. Several, Several times a day with your kids saying, what do you say, yeah. did you do your homework, did you brush your exactly. teeth? Exactly. That's what it's like exactly. in my house. You know? Exactly, there's that, and uh, you know, and, and you know, how's it going at college, and you know, how's the boyfriend, or do you have one, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. We or have get great rid of the boyfriend. You know? <laughs> that always I've, got, I've got great kids, fortunately, they're all, you know, really, really good at sort of getting on with their own things. So. Let's talk about your castle in England. I love yeah. this. I've seen pictures of your castle. You live in, in this in castle. That, yeah, St. Catherine's Court, it's called. And uh, it's over a 1,000 years old. It was originally built in 950, and it was a Benedictine monastery. It has its own church built in 1200. The main part of the house was built in um, Elizabethan times. Uh, the latest edition you'll see on the right-hand side, that, that orangery, was right. um, 1910. Um, the Cure and Radiohead have both recorded albums at that, that place. And if anyone's a Radiohead... Um, a fan, uh, OK Computer, was actually recorded there. And Jody and Florence and I can rent it. Jody yep. Florence yes, and I can rent it, most importantly. Yes, you can. And if you, if, I think if you have eight couples, it actually ends up working out to be less than the Holiday Inn, apparently. You OK. Yeah. Let's talk about enslavement, a fascinating story that not a lot of people are familiar with. Tell me about it. Uh, Fanny Kemble was a very famous English actress uh, from the Kemble acting family, related to Sarah Siddons. She was performing Shakespeare. In America, she fell in love with Pierce Butler, a Philadelphian man who inherited a huge plantation in Butler Island, Georgia. He was the largest slave owner in the South. Um, she had two kids with him and ended up uh, living on this plantation. She was so appalled by the conditions of the slaves, who her husband had said were being treated well, and they weren't. It was just horrible. And she was so uh, it was so abhorrent to her that she tried to help them and then tried to help them escape. And ultimately, she ended up losing her children, her marriage, and, and everything, almost to life doing it. And then... Um, Many years later, she found out the British government was going to support the South financially in the Civil War, and she uh, published her journals. And because of that, the public outrage was such right. that they never contributed money. Now, I understand you're doing this with your husband, James yes. Keach. He's in it, as well as directing it. Why did you want to do this particular project? Because it's about the enslavement of marriage, the enslavement of a culture that you're born into, like the, what would happen to the people in the South. They didn't really know any better. And, of course, the horrors of slavery, which, as we know, continue today in the Sudan and in many places in the world. 
Um, it's an incredible story of a woman who was not apathetic. It was a woman who actually stood up and did something about it. And Wonderful she did it in a story. time when nobody could do anything. Right. Certainly women. I mean, women were really you know, unable to do a lot of things. A wonderful story, actually, to watch. I watched it last night. It was a, a wonderful story. A lot story. of people did a great job. feel like it's one of the best things I've ever done, and uh, I feel very proud of it. Okay. My husband, James, is actually also starring in it, too. I know, I saw I him. Know. Great <laughs> scenes. And you even do kind of a little sort of a nude scene. It was amazing. Four children, and she does kind of a half-nude scene. Yeah, but you, you don't like... actually see anything. You think you do. But it is it's a little bit you more risque fabulous. than I'm used to. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You. Appreciate having you here, as always. Hope to have you back again sometime. Thanks a lot. Okay. And once again, the movie is Enslavement, the true story of Fanny Kimball, and it airs Sunday night on Showtime. Back in a moment, but first, this is later today on NBC.